Heaven's California Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video and as promised today we have got two videos We had a World Cup Russia announcement yesterday that video went up a little bit earlier prior to this one and now we've got a Premier League team of the season investment guide that we can definitely have a look at and um, try and make some moves on. So we're going to have Premier League team of the season on Friday which is only three days away. Uh, we've got some SBCs coming out tonight by the time this video comes out. The SBCs should already be out so hopefully they're good and have done something for us. You know if they're making you any profit. With FIFA if it's making you profit just fucking take the profit man because the market does things and things EA drop things that could crash your players or they could skyrocket your players. Now, what we're going to be focusing on today is what's going to be happening with some of our past Team of the Week informs that have uh, got maybe some informs that may or may not be in the Premier League Team of the Season. Now, we're going to go over and we're going to have a look at FIFA 17, okay? We have to have a look at FIFA 17 and we're going to go to the Team of the Week. So we're going to have a look at the Premier League Team of the Week and, or not Team of the Week, Team of the Season. And we're going to be able to make some moves from this, okay? We're going to get some information that may or may not be able to make you some very, very, very easy amount of coins for very minimal effort. So we'll go down, we're going to go all the way down to the Premier League, okay? Now this is what the Premier League Team of the Season looked like last year. We had Romelu Lukaku, we had Harry Kane, we had Dele Alli. We had Mane, we had Hazard, we had Kante, Marcos Alonso, Vertonghen, Aspilicuela, Walker and De Gea. Now, uh, also on the bench, we had Ibra, De Bruyne, Sanchez, Costa, Lloris, Eriksen, David Luiz, Valencia, Keane, Lallana, Ander Herrera and Toby Alderweireld. Now this was a stacked Premier League team of the season last year. Now this year we're going to expect some of these guys in as well. Um, let's have a look at one man in particular, this man right here, Carl Walker, hell of a season last year, hell of a season this year, well, most, I mean, it's pretty much certain that he's going to get the right back, uh, Premier League team of the season, uh, this year, along with probably Antonio Valencia, I don't see any others that have really had much of an impact on the league, I think Tony, Tony V will be benched, while it's Carl Walker will be the starting one on the starting team. Now, uh, Premier League team of the season last year was released. Actually, no, we'll be able to tell when it's released because we'll go to all. So this card dropped on May the 17th, was it? No, it wasn't, was it? I don't think it was. Uh, it was on the 18th. Okay, fair enough. It was on the 18th. Okay, so the 18th here... There was none on the market, okay? There was none on the market. And then when it comes to the 19th, he shot up, okay? He was at 300k. And then after Team of the Season, he slowly comes down. Okay, that was when Team of the Season roughly ended around then. And then he kind of went up again. And there's some profit to be made there. And he kind of went up and up and up and up and up. And he fluctuated all around. But that's not the card. I'm. Uh, that's only the average price. The card we want to be looking at is his inform. He's got an inform this year. He's got his ones to watch right back card. That a lot of people are using it right back. Now his right back card last year. We want to have a look at the build up before team of the season. Okay, his team of the season came out the 18th. So we'll go to all. We'll go to the the 18th of May. You see, he 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 dropped in price. Okay, he dropped when the team of the season dropped. He dropped hella much because a lot of people were gonna go and they're gonna try and want. They're gonna want to use him in their team. They're gonna want. They're gonna ditch this guy. Okay. The week before, so the Friday, which was here, he was high, and then he slowly starts dropping, dropping, dropping. Team of the season hits. He's super low. He's at 128k. The Friday comes. He's even lower, 121k, because people are still selling this one they've got in their team. They want to get the team of the season fresh one. But then they find out that the team of the season was a little bit too expensive, and a week after... Or a couple of days after even, you know, after the weekend, Sunday. It gets to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. He's back at 159. He's at, on the Friday. So a week later, 
he's back up at 167k because a lot of people have they want to go and buy him back okay they can't afford this team in season one so they want to go and get their informed car walker back you buy him your turn say you turn you get him at 120k okay say you got him at 120k you're selling him on at 160 say say you sell him on 160 the tax on the 60 160k is 8,000 coins 8,000 coins yes you heard me right 8,000 coins and that basically means you're gonna get about 30,000 40,000 coins a card you buy 10 of them you've made 400k easy just like that 400k now of course you can be sat there thinking well that's only one card what about some of the other cards don't you worry we'll have a look at some of the other cards that had affordable team of this or team of the weeks that might have been able to use one that you could use maybe is Deli Ali. will Deli Ali get into the Premier League team this season this year I I don't know I don't know if he's done enough um you know I think Ericsson might get the attacking midfield spot over Deli Ali, but some people might be sat there thinking you know what this Deli Ali, I could definitely use that okay he had an exceptional season last year Okay, but a lot of people might have been using this card right here. The 84 rated CAM Deli Alley. A very good card, okay? Very good card on paper. Let's have a look what happened to that Deli Alley. Did it happen very similarly to what the team of the season, not the hourly graph, we want all? Okay, then. So let's have a look. It gets to May. May the 18th, was it out? I think it was up May the 18th. Uh, he's down at 60k. And then a couple of days later, he's up at 73k. Um, so it's still profit. But again, it's not, a, it's not a huge player that a lot of people probably were using. So it's not the best example to use. Let's have a look at his May. Um, you know, I wasn't really a huge player of FIFA last year. So I'm not really sure what is what. But he had an 87 rated in form that looks... Very, very tasty. And a lot of people were using these cards in Fuck Champs. You know, these are Fuck Champs cards. Fuck Champs affects the market a load. Because if there's a player that people want for Fuck Champs, one person comes out and says, This guy's amazing. You should go and get him. His price is going to come up. Okay, but we'll have a look at this Mane. We'll have a look if the Mane did the exact same thing. So he comes out in March. He's 300k. It comes to May. Comes to May. Bang. His price crashes. Okay, he was at. It comes to the Saturday, probably when, okay, it comes to Saturday, he's at 168k, he's down, he's down at 130k. You know, when a card's 30k down, there is no way, okay, there's only two things that affect player prices. That's demand, and that's supply. When supply is high, prices are low. When supply is low, prices are high. But then, if you add demand on that, so say we got high supply, high demand, the prices will basically stay in the middle, okay, middle price. We have high supply, low demand, the prices are crashing. But when we go to low supply, we go low supply, low demand, the prices are kind of in the middle. We go low supply, high demand, low supply is as soon as he comes out of packs. Okay, as soon as this guy comes out of packs, he's in packs on the Wednesday, the Wednesday later, he's crashed. Okay, he's down, he's down at 274k. But then he starts to come up again because people want to use him. Okay, he starts coming up because he's out of packs and people are like, I want to use this Mane now. And he comes in he comes in prices and he comes up. Okay, that's a great way you can use... When you see a card like that and he's down, you keep a track of his price because he's going to be, you know, he's going to be a very good team. He's going to be a very good card for Black Champs. Okay, I wouldn't be doing that in Team of the Weeks now during Team of the Season because we obviously have Team of the Seasons and Team of the Seasons are very good cards to do all that for right now. But he comes into packs... His team of the season comes out. He's low, okay? He's low. He's at 131k. He dips. But then a week later, the next Thursday, he's at 180k. Okay? Say you buy 10 of them, 1.3 million. You're turning that into 1.8 million. Okay? The tax on 180k is... 45,000 coins? No, not that much. Not that much. Um, 9,000 coins, okay? So the 9,000 coins there, that was the peak. He peaks a week later, okay? So if you want to make some moves this team of season, 
you go and find yourself, you go and get Concept Squad, you go and find a load of popular informs that people use in Team of the Season. The way you can do that, I believe I don't know if there's a way on the app. There's a way you can do it on the app. Uh, here we go, popular. You go to popular. FIFA 18 popular players. At the moment, of course, you can have all these guys, okay? All these guys are hella popular. Uh, but you want to have a look at any informs that are here. The Milinkovic Savage, not past Team of the Week inform, doesn't count. Moses, Lacazette, Dalvin, Neymar, Lozano, not really a great one. Hyungmin Son, okay? Son could be a great card to go and pop this on. Because Son may or may not get a team of the season, okay? He might get a team of the season. He might not get a team of the season. Okay, he's had a good year. But I don't know if he'll get that. Will it be Hazard? Could it, it could be anyone on that left-hand side. But you want to track his price, okay? His price is slowly coming down. Okay, go to all. He started at a good 200k. Over the last couple of days, his price is slowly starting to come down. In the hourly graph, he sat about 130k. Yesterday, he was at 130k. Sunday, he was at 130k. But I definitely put him into a concept. By Thursday, Friday, if his price is down near 100k, you want to get on him because his price will go up, okay? If people people love this son, if he doesn't get a team this season, okay, his price might go up more. If he does get a team this season, his price might go up a little bit more as well. Um, but a player that uh, you can use, a good example for a player that didn't get a team this season last year, is Paul Pogba, okay? So let's go over to FIFA 17. Let's go over to players. Let's open that up into a new tab. We're going to have a look at Paul Pogba, okay? Because Paul Pogba is, well, he was a very, very good card. Okay, he was a very good card last year. Um, we want to have a look at Premier League in particular. Let's just go clubs. Let's just go Manchester United. And let's have a look at this. So he's 93 rated in form. Uh, I'm not really fussed what inform it is, as long as it was out before that. Okay, you're thinking 90 rated inform, that's going to be very, very expensive. Well, it was a very expensive inform, but it was also an inform that could have made you a lot of money. Okay, we'll go daily, we'll go to all. We can't go to all. Oh, he was a very late inform. Okay, we won't go for that one. We'll go to the 92. We'll go to the 92 rated inform. Okay, I think that one will be... That one was out before Team of the Season. I'm hoping. Uh, okay, it was. Look, it was in... No, it wasn't before Team of the Season. Again. Are you kidding me? We'll go to the 90... We'll go to the 90 rated Pogba then. Okay, not the 91. We'll go to the 90 rated Pogba. That one was definitely out before Team of the Season. I'm hoping it was out before Team of the Season. Please, come on. We, we, we've been waiting for this. There we go. It was out in January. Okay, brilliant. Uh, when his team of the season drops, his price, you know, on the build-up to the team of the season, was coming down, 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 down. Hits May, 17th, hits May 18th, he's at 517k. A couple of weeks later, he's at 5... I mean, not about that. That's a... Um, Pop was a tricky one, okay? When a player doesn't get a team this season, there is a, a, a time frame in which you'll be able to sell them on, okay? People will sell their Pogba's hours before team of the season this year. Will Pogba get a team of the season? Maybe, maybe not. But if there's a player that may or may not get a team of the season um, that you're thinking of, there is a time frame where in which people are going to sell that card and when, t when they see team of the season is up, they're going to buy that card back straight away. They're going to go, okay, Pogba isn't there. I want him back. Straight away, bang. But it's very risky, okay? It's risky. Don't invest coins into it if you can't afford the loss, okay? If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's kind of like that. Like a lot of things in life, if it works, it works. It doesn't, it doesn't. But sometimes you've got to take the risk, okay? There are better informs that maybe you can use. Um, there, there's a good amount of informs that you could definitely get away with using. One of them is definitely... Hyung Min Son because I think his his inform will will definitely will definitely crash. You know he he has an 84 rated striker with the 84 rated striker Son.
Is he coming down in price as well? Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. Let's have a look. You know, the only way you can check these things is to just have a look and think to yourself, is it worth the investment? Is his price coming down? Well, his price is coming down. Look, uh, a week ago he was at 116k, now he's down at 98,000 coins. Um, you know, he's getting sold quite a lot. Okay, he was at 9, he's here, he goes down to 100, then he's back up at 114. You know, yesterday he was down at 90k. People are starting to maybe buy him back a bit. But, you know, Sunday when that, when they were out, they were, people were selling him, okay? People sell these cards for cheap. And if you just put yourself as concept squad together of some past Premier League team of the weeks, you know, have yourself five or six different cards that you want to keep an eye on, have your notepad, write down their price, you know, keep an eye on them and just make some moves if you want to make some moves. If you, if you want to be risky, you want to make the move, go make the move. If you want to be a bit more reserved, then stay with your 83s and 84s. And you just card informs because I don't think you can really go wrong with them. But um, you know, if you want to make moves, make moves. Will I be making some moves? Yeah, I think I will make some moves. Because you know what? The only way you're gonna step up from being a safe trader, the only way you're gonna make coins is to making that step from a safe trader to someone who takes risks. Sometimes you lose money, sometimes you win big. You either win big, you either go big or go home. Okay? You're staying safe, you're going home. But if you make up and you go big, you're going to be in the money and you're going to make yourself a good amount of coins. Um, I'm going to be putting myself together a few Team of the Week past informs and keeping an eye on their price during duration of from now until Friday. When that hits, I'm expecting their prices to drop. I'll keep them. A week later, I'm expecting some coins back. Okay? Don't expect instant result. Okay? They won't go up an hour after Team of the Season is released. They might do. But they might not do. Okay, people are going to be selling the heck out of their squads. They're going to want as many coins as they can to get the team of the week. So, um, or the team of the season Premier League. Because Premier League is very, is a very popular league in FIFA and people want their cards, I guess. But, um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I've got to get going. Well, I don't have to get going, but I do need to get going. I have got a driving lesson very, very soon. So I do need to make sure I'm ready for that. But if you did enjoy this video... Please do drop a like if you, you know, what moves are you going to be making? Are you going to be making any moves on some players? If you are, then let me know what you're making down below. You know, if you have any questions, let me know down below in the comment section and I will answer them. Or, alternatively, follow me on any of my social media platforms, all down in the description down below. You know, including the Discord and the Saraha. Ask me a question and I will get it answered for you. And uh, it's as easy as that. If you're on your own here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Turn on notifications so you do not miss an upload. I've been David. This has been FIFA 18. Well, it's kind of been fucked in, but it's FIFA 18 content. Team of the season, Premier League is nearly here. I'm pumped. You should be pumped too. We've got the World Cup mode as well. If you did miss that video, go and check it out. It will be in the eye and it will be in the end card screen of this video. I've been David. This has been FIFA 18. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.